Today, I will be giving you an exclusive, first hands-on look at the new Wuxin Ocean KG-UV9G-X. GMRS Radio X stands for better. The price for the Wuxin Ocean KG-UV9G-X is $219. Affiliate link below, but this radio is on sale right now, as of today, for $199. And if you use the coupon code not a Rubicon, not a Rubicon at checkout, you will get an additional not a Rubicon fans discount. If you're one of those idiots that keeps leaving comments on all of my videos, telling me how much you hate me and claiming that you never watch any of my videos, you are not allowed to use the not a Rubicon fan discount coupon code because it is for not a Rubicon fans only. This radio will not be for sale until this video, this video that you are watching right now has been published, which means that this radio is available now. But be aware that because I have a horrible track record of selling out radios whenever I do a review of one, that chances are by the time you watch this video, this radio will already be sold out. So if you actually want a new Wuxin Ocean KG UV9G-X, do not wait until the website says in stock. Pre-order the radio. Give them your money now. And then when the next boatload of new UV9G X's comes over from China, you will get your new KG UV9G X first, while all those other chumps waiting for the website to say in stock will still be waiting. So when you order the new Wuxin Ocean KG UV9G X, GMRS handheld radio in the box you will receive a warranty card you will receive this user guide user manual this is not the actual user manual this is a prototype that was sent to me by Wuxin I had to print it out myself you will receive an actual printed manual it is a combination of a quick start guide and a full user manual. It is written in perfect English, and it goes over all of the features of the radio, how to use it, what to do, what not to do, and why to do it. You can tell a lot about a radio by how much effort and work the company puts into the user manual, and this company put a lot of effort and work into this user manual. You will receive this handsome hand strap for fixing to one end of the radio and the other end to your appendages. You will receive a belt clip, sturdier and stiffer than the less expensive radio belt clips. You will receive screws to affix said belt clip to the back of the radio, and those go into the battery itself, not directly into the radio. So when you change the battery, the belt clip goes with it. You will receive a battery charger, charging cradle, as it were. And you will receive a power adapter. One end plugs into the back of the charging cradle. The other end goes to the holes in your wall to send the electricity through the wire into the charger and thusly into your radio. Now, a lot of people have asked about USB charging for this radio. It does not come with a USB charger, but for only $8, you can purchase this optional USB adapter, which also plugs into the back of the charger. The other end plugs into the hole on any USB adapter so that you can charge your radio through the cradle via a USB plug. That does not come with the radio. That is an option. Affiliate link below. You will receive an antenna. And you will receive the Wuxin. 
Ocean KG UV 9G X Handheld GMRS Radio. The KG UV 9G X is an upgrade from the KG UV 9G Pro. Looks pretty much the same. Oh, almost forgot. The KG UV9GX has all of your standard controls, on off and channel control knob. They're both tighter than they are on the UV9G Pro. That means during vigorous activities, it won't be so easy to accidentally bump the volume or accidentally change the channel. It also has this small knob guard to help prevent that from happening. It has a standard female SMA connector for the antenna. It has three programmable buttons that you can program to do almost anything. Large textured push to talk button. On the other side, you will find the K1 type connector for connecting to an external microphone or earpiece. The battery is easily removable. And upon inspection, you will find that it is a 3200 milliamp hour battery. It has the standard control buttons. The band button will switch you from the top screen to the lower screen. I'll talk more about why there are two screens in a moment. TDR and VFO memory mode here. I'll talk about that more in a minute. Menu, as one would guess for getting into the menus. Exit, as one would guess for exiting the menus or whatever screen you're on. Channel up and down and a talk around button for repeaters. The maximum power output of the Wuxin Ocean KG UV9GX is five and a half watts. This is a seven band radio, seven bands. It is a FCC part 95 GMRS radio, so it can only transmit on GMRS, but it can receive and scan on seven different bands. That means you can receive in the 76 to 180 megahertz range, 219 to 250 megahertz, 350 to 512 megahertz, 700 to 824 megahertz, 849 to 869 megahertz, and 894 to 960 megahertz. It also receives AM airband and commercial FM radio. This is a super heterodyne radio. It actually has two separate super heterodyne receivers inside for listening to two frequencies at the same time. So for example, you can listen to GMRS channel 12 and channel 15 at the same time. And because it is a super heterodyne radio, it will have much better selectivity than a non super heterodyne or SOC type radio. That means that you will receive much less bleed over from other frequencies or strong transmitters that may be around you and much less static. Super heterodyne receivers are generally known to be better quality than SOC type receivers. By default, it listens to two different channels at the same time. You can disable that by pressing the TDR button to keep it more simple. Long press of the TDR VM button puts you into VFO mode so you can directly input your frequencies. The radio can store 999 channels for things like custom repeaters or receive only scanning. And it comes pre-programmed with hundreds of shit hit the fan type frequencies for scanning, such as two meter and 70 centimeter ham bands, Marine bands, U.S. military, commercial airlines, search and rescue, Red Cross, Air Guard, public safety, homeland security, federal law enforcement, federal disaster network, DOJ, FBI, CIA, NTSB, IRS, HUD, Secret Service, U.S. Marshal, and yes, even, as you would expect, Walmart. The radio has an IP55 rating. That makes it highly water resistant, so you could use it in the rain with no issues, but don't drop it in the lake. And it has a much brighter LED flashlight. 
I know it doesn't show on camera, but it is much brighter than on the UV9G Pro and many other radios. So it's actually a usable flashlight. For programming, you can use either the free Wuxin Ocean software, or you could also use the RT system software made for the KG UV9D radio. It has a few different color themes that you can choose from. including covert or dark mode, so that you can customize the screen to match your GMRS lifestyle. It has a priority channel quick jump feature. That means you can program a priority channel. Just go into the settings and set what channel you want to be your priority channel. I set mine to GMRS channel 19, which as we all know is the official highway and road channel. So by pressing the band button and holding it for a second, and it will quickly jump to your priority channel, and you'll see that you're on your priority channel as indicated by the little priority star. As I mentioned, it does receive commercial FM radio. And as you saw there, if you receive a transmission on either of your frequencies that you're listening to, it will pause the FM and give priority to the GMRS channels. And in case I did not mention it already, you can easily turn off the two-channel monitoring if that becomes too confusing by simply hitting the TDR button. Now you're monitoring only one channel. Some people love listening to two channels at the same time, but if you're a simple boy like me, you prefer one channel only. And yes, the radio does have a Roger beep, but only on simplex channels not on repeaters. As mentioned, it does come with hundreds of pre-programmed shit hit the fan type frequencies to listen to. And people are always asking how fast do the radio scan? So we will enable scan mode. And that is how fast the radio scans. Pro tip, when you are on the top channel, you change between the upper and lower by hitting the band button and you'll see the little main Icon moves from upper to lower. That's the active band so that when you press the push to talk button, that's where you'll be transmitting. If you are on the top band, you can scan and tune in all frequencies. If you are on the bottom band, you can only scan VHF and UHF, so 136 to 174 megahertz and 400 to 512 megahertz. The box says this radio will output up to five and a half watts. So let's test that. Allow me to explain what I'm going to do because if I don't explain it, some moron will become confused and leave stupid comments saying that I'm doing it wrong. I will connect the Wuxin Ocean KG UV9G to this patch cord. I will then tune the radio to a GMRS high power channel. I will press the transmit button, which will send the RF electricities through this patch cord into my Farzo meter 2000 and that will indicate how many RF electricities the radio is outputting. I have this dummy load attached which will give us a more accurate reading and will also prevent me from transmitting over the air although as many experts have pointed out in comments before when transmitting through a dummy load yes we do know that tiny minute amounts of the RF electricities will actually come out into the air and you might be able to pick up those transmissions from a few feet away. Thank you to all those experts for pointing that out. So I'm going to go to channel 15 because that's what channel we were on. I'm going to press the push to talk button and we will see the power output right up here. You'll also see a larger SWR reading here. Ignore that because we're on the dummy load. It should read a perfect SWR. I am not going to measure the SWR on the antenna because getting an accurate SWR reading on a handheld antenna is exceedingly difficult and not worth the hassle. So I am on channel 15. Oh, that is channel repeater channel 15. Let's not do that yet. So let's go to regular channel 15. I'm going to push the push to talk button and we will see what the Farzo meter says. 5.5 zero watts exactly on the dot. What the box says as the maximum output was channel 15. Let's go to 
Channel 22, which is higher. 5.48 watts, pretty much perfect. Now let's go to repeater channel, even higher frequency, 5.1, 5.08 watts. So the power output is pretty much exactly what Wuxin claims it should be. But the big question that everybody wants to know is, how many FARs does it tux? The range is similar pretty much to all other five or five and a half watt GMRS radios that I've tested. I can easily hit my two favorite repeaters, one at 30 miles away and one at 69 miles away. That is the repeater 69 miles away from my house, but allow me to make something very clear so that there is no room for confucklement or stupid comments. How many FARs you can talk depends on many factors and in GMRS, the biggest factor of how many FARs your GMRS radio will be able to talk is what is between you and the other radio that you wish to talk to. Anything that is between you and it will reduce the number of FARs that your radio will reach. Things like mountains, cities, forests, houses full of fat people. The more that is between you and it, the less FARs you will talk. Thankfully, Xenu has blessed me and my house is at the top of a large hill. And that repeater that I just talked to 69 miles away is on a mountain 69 miles in that direction, pretty much right over your shoulder behind you. And it is on an even higher mountain. So there is perfect line of sight, line of sight between me and that other repeater. That is one of the main reasons why I'm able to talk 69 miles. My point is your FARs may vary. And if you can't talk 69 miles on your radio, whether it's a new KG UV9GX or any other radio, don't leave a stupid comment calling me a liar. It's not my fault you don't understand how radios work. So as you saw, I'm able to hit that repeater 69 miles away, but to test simplex, that's radio to radio communication, I always turn to my friend Chris at his house 10 miles away. And as all of my regular viewers know, Chris is my boss. He pretty much runs this channel. He tells me what to say and what to do, and he makes all of the important decisions for this channel. Unfortunately, Chris was not able to join us on camera today. As all of Chris's fans know, he is a very important person. And today he is busy out buying a new Jeep so that he can teach me how to do the off-roading like a man. But before he left, he did grant me a few moments and we were able to talk radio to radio from this KG UV9GX to his Wuxin Ocean KG UV9G Pro 10 miles loud and clear. He was outside in his driveway and we were able to talk clear as day, slight amount of hiss, but no problems at 10 miles away. But remember, your FARs may vary. So should you buy the new Wuxin Ocean KG UV9GX GMRS radio? That depends. The biggest factor to consider is, of course, what is your wife going to say when she finds out you bought it? But if you are single or if your wife approves of the sickness, then yes, the KG UV9G X is a great upgrade from the KG UV9G Pro.